Hey YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get your clownfish to host your enemy. I know it sometimes gets frustrating. You guys buy, you know, a new clown, and you're like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna host my enemy right away. And a lot of times, it doesn't happen. Like when I bought uh, my platinum clowns or my onyx clowns, none of them wanted to host. So I'm thinking, well, what can I do to get them to host? So I came up with a simple little idea that works really well. I got my clowns hosting now and it works great. So I wanted to share this with you guys. A lot of the clowns now that you get in the stores are tank race, so they don't need anemones anymore and they have no idea like what to do with them. So we sort of have to bring them back, you know what I mean, into like, like a rehab saying, you know, where's my best friend, right? So the anemone and the clownfish become friends again. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you guys today how this is possible. All right guys, so there's a few things you're gonna need, all right? So the first thing you're gonna need is I picked this up at the dollar store. It's a Betty Crocker uh, strainer, you know, for pasta. It's got a little holes in it. So this works great and it's got little handles on the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the tank. So to make this possible, what I did was, because I, I built my son a 20 gallon, uh, you know, nano reef tank. So we went the other day and we went and bought uh, black clownfish. They were tank raised and they don't host uh, an enemy. So I'm like, well, my son really wants to see, you know, his clown hosting an enemy. So I want to speed this up for him. So by using this Betty Crocker, I got a rose bubble tip. We're going to place this in the 20 gallon tank. It's going to sit on the edges like this. So then the water can stay in here and flow. So what we're going to do, we'll set this in the 20 gallon tank and we're going to take the two black clownfish. We're going to put them in here as well and we're gonna put the rose bubble tip in here. So they have no choice to hang out. And a lot of the times the, the clownfish will help feed the anemone and bring it food. So right now they're gonna to get together and they're gonna become best friends again. So we're gonna place this in the tank with the rose bubble tip and two black clowns. And I'm gonna leave them in there for a few days like I did my other ones. And eventually they'll, they'll figure out what they're, you know, to hang out and you know what I mean, look after each other. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put this in the tank guys. All right guys, so we're over here at the 20 gallon uh, nano tank uh, for my son's landing. And um, we got him two black clownfish. I haven't showed you the other videos of, you know, the sand and the rock going on, but this is what we came up with. And this is the way Landon wanted to uh, aquascape his tank. It's his tank, it's his way he wants to do it. So I want to take his two black clowns and I want them to host his uh, rose bubble tip. So I have his uh, ro uh, rose bubble tip in here. He's, he's, uh, really, he's really small right now because I had to get him out of my sump because I've been looking after him down there. So what we're gonna do, first off, we're gonna take the Betty Crocker strainer, all right? Make sure it's clean before you put it in your tank. So we're gonna take it, it's got the two handles and it's the perfect, uh, the width of a 20 gallon tank. So we're gonna put that in here. So slowly drop it in. See, so there you go, see that? It's in your tank, it's good to go. The handles stick over the edges. There's no spillage. So this way it can stay in the tank. It's got the heat and this is where its new home's gonna be. So this is where we're gonna introduce it. So now we, all we have to do is catch the two black clowns and put the anemone in the tank and then the Betty Crocker strainer. And then we're gonna leave them for a few days so they get to know each other. And then by then, we'll be able to release everybody back into the tank. Um, I have a really nice big chunk of rock here. It's got a lot of holes in it. You know, and uh, crevices, so this will be a good spot for the rose bubble tip to attach its foot and be permanently stay there. That's the plan. So as long as everything goes good, in a few days we're gonna have two uh, black clownfish loving their new anemone home, all right guys? So let's go ahead, we're gonna get the anemone in there and we're gonna get the two black clowns in there. So we got our anemone right here. He's really, uh, swollen. He's really small right now, but we're gonna get him in here, so I'm just gonna dump him in. I'm mean, actually, I got some, uh, I got some shrimp and stuff here, mice and shrimp. I'm gonna feed the anemone too. So, put food in there with them, and then that, they'll really get to know each other because they'll help feed you. So let's move that around. And this is a really bright light LED too, so he'll really like that. So now we just got to catch the two clowns. Easier said than done. All right guys, so I finally caught the two black clownfish. I got them in the Betty Crocker uh, strainer with the anemone. So right now I just got my wand out. I want to spot feed the anemone so he's a lot happier. So I'm just gonna give, I'm just gonna, I got my mices here. I'm just gonna suck it up a little bit. 
These things work good because you can get all the food up inside and then I can just feed my enemy. There. That'll make them happy. So I'll bring you guys in close here so you guys can check out this little process. So Landis tank's looking good. I uh, end up getting the two black clownfish. We did some aquascaping. This is what he wanted to do. So it's his tank. He does what he wants. He got four, uh, four hermit crabs, four snails, and uh, two black uh, clownfish. I'm going to show you. So the tank's running well there right now. It's running really well. So here's his two clowns. We got them. There's his two black clowns, and there's the anemone. It's starting to open up a bit. So I just spot feeded them there keep them happy so as soon as he the the rose bubble tip there he opens up and then they can start to get to know each other a little bit so I'm gonna leave this for you know three to four days to see how it goes to see if make sure they're interacting with each other but I like the way that I can do this at night I can uh, put a cover over top of it so my clowns don't jump out and, uh, and everybody's happy so this is my process what I did for my clowns when I got them so they would host the the rose bubble tip so this rose bubble tip is actually really nice. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's almost like a fire, you know, it's like a, like a fire going on there right now. But that's cool, but his clowns are really nice. There's a big one, so the big one, that's going to be the female, and the small one's always the male. So that's, I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's how I do this process, and it works really well. So I'm just going to spot feed him a little more with the wand here. This is what I use to spot feed all my uh, corals in there with like my reef roids or just even shrimp to feed my other uh, anemone. I don't feed them very often, but I feed them, you know, a couple times. But so yeah, so I just use my, just got a little container with food, mix it up and then just suck it up through the, to the great big, looks like turkey baster, it works really well. So I just want to show you guys up close to personal how, that's how I got my uh, clowns to, uh, to host their anemone. Um, so we'll do an update video. Uh, and see how things go. Hopefully the rose bubble tip, he'll be all open and uh, the clowns will be, uh, you know, swimming around in their host. So I just want to show you guys that. So, you know, thanks for watching guys. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, you never know what videos will be coming up next. So I hope this process works good for you guys. All right. Have a good day. Bye.